all right, this is a float tank, and this is what I'm talking about. When you come in, there's a shower, and then you, what you have is it kind of feels like you're jumping into a freezer when it's your first time, but it's eight inches or 11 inches of salt water, and you just are extremely buoyant inside of it, so you can't see anything. And I want to make this video really short because this is this guy's business, and I have to be quiet, but, but this is what it looks like. It's that simple, okay? I'll make another video here in just a second to explain more about why we do this and why it's so beneficial to you and why you can use it as a way to make yourself, force yourself into growing that focus muscle so that you can use it in everything else in your life. Just like a workout. A workout is 4% of your day that changes 100% of your life. This is the same thing. Okay, same thing, use it. So why was I doing that? Why would I be willing to crawl inside of a dark tank with no light, no noise, and it looks like a creepy free, for a, in a creepy freezer for 90 minutes? Why would I be willing to do that? Well, there's a number of reasons, uh, but remember what I told you there is, I don't know if you could hear very well in the video, but it's about an eight to 11 inches, I'm guessing here, eight to 11 inches of water, and it's filled full of Epsom salts that are full of magnesium, and there's two big reasons for that. The, sal the, the salts make you buoyant, so you just float. You would have to work your ass off to drown in a float in a sensory deprivation tank. And then on top of that, the magnesium in that uh, is very, very soothing. The magnesium is a very soothing mineral. So, so it, it relaxes you so that you can focus on a different level. And, and getting in that space where you can't see anything, you can't hear anything except for your own breath and your own heartbeat changes things. Okay? And the reason that I do it is to force myself to recover, force myself to recover from life, force myself to recover from workouts. Uh, remember, we cannot be overtrained. We cannot overwork. These are status quo bullshit ideas that get put out there. We can only under recover. So I, I want uh, to force myself to spend time with me. You're going to force yourself by going into the sensory deprivation tank. You are forcing yourself to spend time with you. You're forcing yourself to analyze and to look through and to think about how your mind works to uncover things think if if your entire life you live if you you think of your entire life you have these these per, these 360 perspectives of you okay this uh i was at a as a, at a musical event actually when somebody told me this idea and they were talking about mushrooms and doing drugs and he was on drugs at the time and i was too curious not to ask him tons and tons of questions i was sober i wasn't even drinking and I asked him a question and I go, what, what's this stuff like? Why do you do this stuff? And he goes, it's to get a different perspective. Now, I don't think that you need to do LSD or mushrooms or anything like that to get these perspective. But what he said was, if you think about the 360 degrees of perspectives that you could, that everybody else has on you. When he did mushrooms, he said he could get about a 10 degree perspective on himself from his own perspective. And I think that's kind of what you're getting when you go into a sensory, dep de sensory deprivation tank. You go in, there's no light, no sound. All you can connect with is your breathing and your heart. And you lay there long enough and you get so relaxed and you try to force yourself into this relaxation that is extremely uncomfortable. There's nothing fun about going into these things to the point that you even forget that you have a body. Okay. And that's what you're trying to get to. And I want to read the next part here because I don't want to miss any of this. Um, and fair warning, it's going to get a little weird, but I, I want to read the next part and really stick with me throughout this. Really, really let me take you on a journey. Kind of follow me along here uh, as, as we go through this and really get tuned in here. Uh, but fair warning, this is going to get a, a little bit weird, but imagine yourself as a celestial being, a God like celestial. Uh, just you're you're floating through space. You have no physical shape. Not even a portion of you is matter. Matter in the sense of uh, of chemistry. You're just you're just a being, existing and only existing. You're nothing. But even nothing is still something. What are you? Are you everything? Are you part of all there is? What do you think about? What do you do? Do you have fun with it? Do you analyze this existence? Do you dream or fantasize what might be? Do you live others' lives completely within your own imagination? And as a celestial being, time is not an actual thing the way we humans use it. You're just as much billions of years young as you are nanoseconds old. And if this is the case, if you are the celestial being and you have infinite imaginative experiences to live out, how long before you're having the experience you are living right 
now? I think that's the big question to ask yourself here. And that's what, like, this is what I mean. I'm getting a little bit old. But snap out of it now. Then snap out of that. You're done following me, okay? You're done following me on that little journey. That was focus. What you just did, most people would say that you went down a rabbit hole and got really distracted. No, you didn't. You just got extremely focused on one thing, this idea of just, am I part of everything? Am I a part of nothing? What is existence? Why am I alive? What is my purpose? You got extremely focused on something that was probably fairly uncomfortable to go to if someone just said, what's your focus? Why are you here? And you're like, oh, I don't know. Okay, so step out of it. You can. This rabbit hole is not a distraction. It is a gift. You have tunnel vision and you need to use it. Okay, you have tunnel vision and you need to use it. All right, but that's the reason that you use the sensory deprivation take is to give yourself a different perspective on you, to force this recovery, to force this uh, almost like a forced meditation, forced visualization, to spend time with you, to get very clear on who you are, what you want, why you're here, okay? And it, that 90 minutes is huge. Sometimes it feels like two minutes, sometimes it feels like an eternity, but that's the point. That's the point, man. That's the why we're doing this. Okay, I'm not talking about some like spiritual esoteric sort of crazy out there thing. I'm talking about something real and tangible right here. Okay, so this is a sensory deprivation tanks are very much a way that we can pare down and we can get focused on something and that we can use this to kind of transform our mind around to some ideas that might be holding us back and keeping us from the life that we want to live.